this circuit we are going to see other concept another concept that is with source that is even the switch is uh, moving from one position to another position if there is source how to solve those type of problems now the circuit is like this so when t less than 0 the the, uh, the switch was position 1 and uh, t equal to 0 it is moving to position 2 now always t equal to 0 minus what is the circuit so whenever the switch is like this v2 will be not connected the so simple the circuit is become like this now the inductor again it will become like a short circuit and we can find the current flowing through this that is il of 0 minus is equal to v1 by r now we need to find il of t for t greater than 0 so for t greater than 0 the circuit will become like this that is the position is the switch position is here that means now the rl the components will connect it to the source 2 now how to see this inductor is already having some initial current that is v1 by r now how to solve this type of problem again apply kvl so minus v2 plus rl into il plus l into dil by dt equal to 0 now it is look, looking like a a differential equation but there is a constant here so whenever this first order differential equation is like this under we are having some unknown param i mean uh, the non zero term here which is constant so we need to go for two solution that is one is complementary function plus particular integral this is will become the total solution but if we don't require those concepts here i'm going to give a direct equation how to solve with source network you can remember that that directly il of t is equal to il of infinity that is at infinity what is this circuit will become again it will become short circuit so i can again il of infinity value plus il of 0 minus already we got that value minus il of infinity into e power minus p by tau so this is the formula we can use for source with the source network what is tau here again time constant which is l by r now how to find il of infinity so go for this circuit il of 0 minus this is the circuit for il of infinity we need a circuit at t equal to infinity and t equal to infinity the so now the source is connected to v2 right so this is v2 again this inductor will become the short circuit and this will become the il of infinity right so what is this current il of infinity is nothing but v2 by r right so we have to put the this il of infinity here il of 0 minus here then we can get easily the il of t for t greater than 0 so this is how to solve with the source network so you have to remember this expression i of infinity plus i of zero minus i of infinity into e power minus t by t. now one more concept required here is i hope you got this one suppose we are having so many inductors and so many uh, resistors in a circuit suppose this is r1 and this is r2 this is l1 some l2 and so on this is simple example i am taking from v1 how to solve this type of problem very simple same procedure but in terms of il of t i will get il of 0 minus which is source free into e power minus t by tau now i told you tau is a time constant which is l by r but whenever single resistor single inductor then it is this suppose so many resistors and so many inductors it will become l equivalent by r equivalent so we have to find l equivalent as well as r equivalent so l equivalent means whenever wherever you are finding the current so we have to open that inductor and find the l equivalent and r equivalent right so that is the mm, the final uh, concept in the source free rl r with the source rl circuit right next lectures we'll see how to solve capacitances source free rc network source with source rc network right